Thank you very much, Councillor Brock. On behalf of the 3,000 men and women of the Worldwide Clan Curry Society, I bid you Ked Neil Felsha 100,000 welcomes to Macker's Court today for the celebration of Lachlan Moore McVorick. As a, Dr. Donald William Sturt mentioned, our history began as a clan some 700 years ago uh, when an O'Daly bard, uh, at yes, an axe murderer, uh, bid farewell to his beloved Ireland and stepped foot on uh, Scottish soil. Uh, and through his family recorded much of the early history of, of Scotland through the work of the Bards and through their patrons, the MacDonald, Lords of the Isles, and later the MacDonalds of Clan Ronald and other uh, chiefs of Clan, Clan Donald. Um, Clan Curry and Clan McVorix, they seemed to go away for a while after the last Bard passed away in the 18th century. But starting in around 1959, uh, a renaissance began. It started as just some slow-burning embers by uh, especially a gentleman named Professor Derek Thompson at the University of Glasgow who started to write about the McVorricks. And uh, about the same time in 1959, a Clan Curry Society was formed in Glasgow. And while that began to percolate, uh, the torch was passed on and, and we're, we're blessed in Clan Curry to have people like Dr. Donald William Stewart, uh, Professor Hugh Cheap, uh, Professor Willie Gillis, uh, and uh, Wilson McLeod to, um, to recapture, reinterpret, and, and bring life to our, our beloved uh, poetic history. Um, much as, as the scholars have been uh, focusing on the, the scholarly works, the history of Clan Curry, the Clan Curry Society today has taken its, its note from our bardic ancestors to become a, a premier arts organization uh, promoting Scotland throughout the entire diaspora. Uh, we began with events with Tartan Day in New York and, and with exhibitions and documentary films, uh, now with Tartan production, uh, really trying to give back to Scotland uh, through scholarships and other special events, uh, much of that beloved Highlands history, that Gaelic history today. And that's what's led us to the first of what I understand may be several McVorick stones. Uh, Alan, there will be more fundraisers um, to come. Uh, and, and finally, uh, before we go and unveil the stone for all, all of you, I just want to uh, pay special thanks to the wonderful city of Edinburgh, the Lord Provost George Grubb, uh, the folks from the City of Edinburgh Museums, especially Diane Brace, who have worked with us and made, made this whole process an absolute joy to, uh, to, to bring this stone here to Scotland. And we're, we're just thrilled that we could be here and share it with all of you. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And I understand, uh, Lord Provost, we're, we're about to unveil the stone for all of you. So come around and join us.